Hi, it's Jen here. And I'm just having a little moment walking with my dogs. And right now I'm surrounded by a lot of rocks and they're reminding me of sort of the heaviness that emotions can be, especially when we sort of store things and we don't deal with things or we panic when we're starting to feel a certain way and we attach to that feeling, we can be weighed down and feel really heavy, like these big boulders behind me. And one of the things that I've been feeling just the past couple of days is a lot of heaviness, a lot of exhaustion, a lot of fatigue. And I sort of sit with it and the old me would have been like, what the heck is wrong? And I would have pushed through it. I would have done my intense workouts. I would have, you know, overscheduled myself. I would have felt guilty by saying no, I would never have taken a nap, which I did today. Um, but the new and evolved me has really discovered that sometimes our body has so much wisdom in it and our body has a way of letting us know that it needs a break and it needs to reset. And one of the things that I find is when there's a lot of heavy emotions around us, like right now in our country, there's a lot of heavy emotions happening. Um, whether it's the confusion over what's going to happen for the next school year, whether it's the political stuff, whether it's the, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot happening right now and there's a lot of charged emotions. And one of the things that I teach people and that I really continuously remind myself is that I, it's important for us to notice when we are emotionally triggered or when we are feeling charged, it's important for us to ground that energy. So like if I'm feeling really heavy and exhausted, I need to bring the energy in. I need to stay lifted or maybe I need, even need to do some forward folds to get some blood flowing to my head. But I need to calm the energy, maybe even lift the energy a little bit when I'm feeling intense emotions like sadness or overwhelm or anxiety. I need to anchor the energy. I need to blow some of that energy out. So some of the things that I like to do and I'm standing on these rocks and I'm going to just take some really slow, deep breaths. I'm going to hold my breath for a minute and I invite you to join me. Inhale, hold the breath. slowly, steady, blow it out. Now, if you're finding that you have a lot of uh, charge or you've got a lot of anxiety or you've got a lot of anger going on right now, it's important for you to let that go. So I would take a deep breath in and then blow that out. I do have a meditation I posted about blowing up balloons and putting the worry and the anger into the balloons. But basically my point of this little, little video is to just say, you got to notice the emotions, notice how you're feeling, tune in. If your body's feeling heavy, I'm walking, I'm stretching. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking it easy and I'm listening to my body that's telling me, uncle, I'm exhausted. I need to rest and reset. I'm still moving my body, but I'm moving my body in a very gentle way. Um, and that's really important. I'm noticing my emotions and my emotions kind of are all over the place right now. And I'm noticing them. I'm not attaching to them. I'm noticing in them and I'm, I'm expressing them. I'm allowing them to move through me and I am using my energy, my movement and I'm using my breath to help the energy of the emotions move through me and to balance and anchor my energy, whether it's bring more energy in with breath, which is breath is life. So either I'm inhaling and bringing more energy in if I'm feeling low and heavy, maybe I'm even doing some movements where I'm hanging and I'm allowing the blood and the energy to come up to my head. Or if I have a lot of fiery energy, then I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna either forcefully exhale or I'm gonna prolong the exhale. Um, if you're not sure and you will need to balance energy, you can do the alternate nostril breathing, breathing in. Pinching the nose and then exhale through the other nostril. That's called alternate nostril breathing. Or you can do cross crawl where you're walking and I'm, you can't even see, but crossing. You can do a cross crawl. That's another thing. If you're trying to balance energy, if you're not sure how you're feeling, but you just feel a little out of whack. Those are just a couple of little things to do. I'm just trying to really just remind everybody that Emotions are like water, like the tide. They come and they go. It's what we do, what we attach to, that sometimes can create the problems or create the heaviness like these boulders over here. Just let those feelings, notice them, acknowledge them. Don't run away from them. Don't 
hold on to them, just figure out what's going on and then try to move through it. Okay, that is kind of my mindful moment for today. I wish you well, everybody. You're, you're not alone. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of charge. There's a lot of feelings. There's a lot happening, which is going to bring up a lot of feelings. And that's okay. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling in that moment. But don't hang out there. Move through it. Be well, everyone.